Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a quick tutorial video. Uh, since I've moved to Twitch, I've been getting a lot of questions asking how do I stream to Twitch and how does my streams look such good quality? How am I doing this? So I'm going to um, show you guys today how you can stream to Twitch from South Africa using a proper bit rate and have a constant connection to Twitch without any frame drops, without any buffering or any issues. Uh, I think let's just get straight into it. Also, before we get straight into it, sorry, um, I'm going to do a full streaming tutorial series. So get subscribed if you want to see that and also let me know what you want to see. If there's specific questions about streaming you have um, or a specific topic you want me to go very in depth on, please comment down below and say, hey Don, can you please show me how to whatever you want to do. Um, if you're having any issues while streaming, say, hey Don, how can I fix this issue? And I'll have a look at it. Let's get into the video. Um, on your desktop, so what you're gonna need to do is you guys are obviously gonna need to download OBS. You're gonna need to have some kind of streaming software. Um, Streamlabs OBS, I don't really recommend. Um, I try and convert most people from Streamlabs OBS to normal OBS. Um, normal OBS to me is just the best. I find it the best. Um, in the three years I've been trying different um, streaming softwares, I, I just always keep going back to OBS. It is the lightest to use, it gets the updates the most frequent, and it, it's a bit, it looks a bit, so this is what it looks like, it looks a bit weird when you start, but it does everything you needed to do once you figure out how to do it. But anyway, let's get into the video. So download OBS, pretty easy, easy. all you do is Google OBS, go to the website and click Windows, Mac, whatever you're on. I'm assuming you're on Windows, click Windows, it'll download, pop up here. Once it's done, install it. Once it's installed, you'll be greeted with something that looks very similar to what you have in front of me. I just got a little bit of scenes up here, but I'm using that currently to record this video, so I can't delete it. But anyway, so you won't see anything here, it'll just be blank. What you'll do is you'll add a source, call it whatever, call it game. If I do this, the screen's going to go black. Um, so you'll have a source there. And that's pretty much all of that stuff we'll touch in later topics. Most of you guys will already know how to add a scene, add sources, your webcam, your game capture, etc. And your alerts. What we want to focus on is we want to focus on how do you actually stream to Twitch without it lagging. So this is the secret. What you want to do is you want to use... Go to your settings. Let's start again. Go to your settings. Go to stream. Then on this top bar, yeah, most people would say Twitch. Okay, that's that's not what you're going to do. You're going to use a thing called restream.io. Once you click that, you'll click apply and we'll come back to this. Leave this open. Then what you want to do is you want to go to a website called restream.io. Once you go to this website, um, you'll be, I'm probably already logged in because this is what I use. Um, I deleted my thing so I can show you the whole setup. But anyway, when, when you get to this website, log in, it's completely free. Create an account, log in, then you'll see this, this screen. Once you see this screen, click add a channel. This is all of the stuff that you can stream to from Restream. It's really awesome. Um, so, but Twitch is the main thing we have for Twitch. So we go to Twitch and we say connect Twitch account. Now, if you're not logged into your Twitch, it'll say, please log in. I'm already logged in. So I'm going to say, I authorize Restream to access my Twitch account. And then, boom, done. There, it's already picked up my last stream that I've done. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to RTMP settings. You're going to, if if you're having issues, okay, so this is like a quick... um debugging thing if you're having issues with the not connecting using the restream platform and and whatever server leave it on auto detect or mess around with other servers if you're having issues connecting <coughs> excuse me um so what you want to do if you're having issues with it doing this you can go to custom and you can paste this custom link that they have over here so this is the custom link that's if this thing isn't working properly to auto detect restream. Mine normally does. So leave it on restream.io. Say user stream key. Here's your stream key. Copy it. Go back to your OBS. Paste your stream key in. 
click apply. Also click ignore streaming services, this is quite important, ignore that. So make sure you ignore it, click it. So yes, ignore, apply, okay. Now you're done with that, but there's more settings. What you wanna do is your output. Change it to advanced, change to NVEC new, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Use the new NVEC encoder, it's the lightest to use, it has the least performance impact and it is still very good quality. You want to make sure your rate control is on CBR, which is constant bitrate. Change your bitrate, so here's the key. Your maximum bitrate can be 6000 kilobits a second, which is a 6 meg upload speed. Fiddle in between there. My secret, I use 5555. Five, five, five. So it keeps me almost at the edge but not a little bit of leeway um, before hitting that cap and having issues. My preset is on quality, but that's because I go through streaming PCs. If you don't go through streaming PCs and you're using a single PC, opt for maximum performance in the preset. Profile doesn't matter. Then that should be about everything. And now you'll be ready to start streaming. So if you click apply here, click OK. Right now we'll see the screen. So I'm going to say done. So I'm gonna disable this for now so I don't go live on Twitch because that's gonna be awkward. Go here, start streaming, and we should see a green box, no drop frames, no problems. Start streaming. Give it some time does connect there's the green box you'll drop the first few little frames while it's connecting it has a slow connection to it but there we go there's my 5583 kilobytes 5566 5, now constantly going no drop frames are currently happening that's going down but currently we're on 220 and that's when we started it will stay there perfect green bar no drop frames are happening right now and there is our stream to restream now all you do is you click this button, click, have that enabled, and you will be live on Twitch just like that. Restreaming through restream.io. That is the secret, ladies and gentlemen, to streaming to Twitch with no drop frames, no quality issues, and just having a seamless experience. Once you've done that setup, it's, it's done. You click stop streaming, it will stop streaming. You click start streaming. You'll never have to come to this website again. You'll never have to do any of your setup again. You just click start streaming, stop streaming whenever you want to stream and you carry on using Twitch as you normally would. It's as easy as that. If this video helped you guys, there are other means. If Restream really doesn't work for you, there are other ways around it. I can show you guys that as well, maybe in another video if you are having issues. So like I said, guys, I am going to be doing a full streaming thing of how I do my overlays, how I do cool transitions, how to make your webcams look better and all that stuff. So you can have a stream that ends up looking something like this. Or just be me. Oh my God. Um, so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to leave a like on it and get subscribed for upcoming content. And I will, of course, see you all in the next one. Until then, adios amigos. I'm out of you guys.